Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. The Junior College World Series starts at the end of this week. With it comes a big influx of people into not only Grand Junction, but Mesa County as well. Our reporter Jeff Hinkle is here to give us a breakdown of the impact that the tournament has on the city. Jeff. Yeah, so each year 10 of the best junior college baseball teams come to Grand Junction in hopes of taking home an NJCAA World JUCO World Series title. And with that comes a lot of baseball fan money for the city of Grand Junction and local small businesses. The Junior College World Series has been in Grand Junction since 1959, and it's gotten bigger and better every year since. Ten teams travel hundreds of miles to Grand Junction with one goal in mind, taking home a trophy. But what happens to the businesses in Grand Junction during that time? Well, according to the Grand Junction Area Chamber of Commerce, the city estimates to bring in just shy of $2.8 million. That breaks down even farther to around $92,000 that each team will spend in Grand Junction in just one week. All 10 teams included, that's $800,000 alone in economic stimulus just from players and coaches. Multiply that by three to account for supporting staff, friends, and family, and you get around $2.8 million that will go right into the city's revenue for just one week. The JUCO World Series marks the start of summer for many people, and this tournament will be here for a while. The city of Grand Junction will host it at least all the way up until 2024. All right, thanks, Jeff. And remember, the tournament starts this Saturday, May 25th, and will go all the way until June 1st.